happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday, April 12th, 2024. Welcome back to another Friday Live with me. I hope everybody has had a wonderful week, got lots of good crafting done, and um, all of that good stuff. Hope the weather is improving where you are. Crossing your fingers. It's been very nice here. Mostly like low 70s this week, so no complaints from me. Sometimes a little windy, but we're going to take it. It's a win. <laughs> oh no. Beatrice says, lots of rain since Wednesday. Boo. Hello. Let's see. Oh yay. Pop Rock says, first live. Nice. Welcome. Welcome. So I um, thought it would be fun to basically just have playtime again today. That's kind of what Fridays are. Um, I'm going to try something. It's not super different, but it's a little different for me. I thought let's play with some distress. Let's play with some paste. Let's play with some stamps and just see where it takes us. And I think it's going to be super, super fun. Let's see. Happy spring. Sun is shining and birds are singing. Jules said, I love that. Let's see. Oh, good. It's like, why is my comment so small for me to see? I was like, let's increase that. <laughs> These old eyes need it to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Let's see. Hi, Heidi. Oh, 90 where you are. Lovely. That sounds fantastic. Let's see. Good afternoon, Dawn. Sunny in North Carolina. Well, that sounds amazing. It is sunny here as well. It's actually really, really beautiful today. Going to have to get outside a little bit later. So let's flip the camera around and talk about what we're going to create today. I think I don't really have a lot of whole lot of updates this week. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, and first time catching me live. That is amazing. Yay. Okay. Let me click the right button. So let's talk about what we're going to use today and then let's jump in and get started. Um, I do have some magic of video <laughs> for us today because I did already create a background, but I don't want to show it yet. I think the full reveal will be more fun. So we're going to use this lattice stencil from Simon Says Stamp. And this is part of their last release. And I love these kind of stencils. They're something I use over and over again. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, yay. You love the preview. Thank you, Tiffany. Okay, you guys, you have to go check out Tiffany's Instagram. She posted the most amazing dragon. It's a little dragon, isn't it, Tiffany? That she colored with colored pencils. It is phenomenal. I can't even tell you how long I laid in bed and looked at it this morning. So, so good. Um, so yes, please, if you don't follow Tiffany, please follow Tiffany. Tiffany, what's, I'm going to say the name of your Instagram wrong. I'm going to put it in the chat. How about that? We're taking a slight time out because that really stood out to me today. Let's see. Well, I can't type. Ink Therapy Designs. Let me put it in the comments. How about that? Hopefully that works. Okay. So back to what I was saying. I got distracted. <clears throat> We're going to use this lattice stencil. We're going to use it both with some Distress Oxide inks and some grit paste. I We're going to just have a little, a lot of like collage layering background today. You're welcome, Tiffany. Yes, Tanya says I love her stuff. She's so talented. We're going to be using the Lush Leaves. Hugs, really, you can use any leaf, any sentiment that you want. I just pulled this. And then I love this stamp set from Kathy Zielski and Simon Says Stamp. This is the Happy Combos. It is really great for lots of different occasions. And the star of today's show is, of course, this Tim Holtz set. Oh, I'm missing a stamp. It's in my Misty. 
This is the Botanic Collage, and I love this stamp set. So we're going to use this today as well. And the great thing is that Simon Says Stamp has brought out coordinating dies for quite a few of Tim's sets. So if you've been kind of on the fence about them before because you really like dies, like I like dies, then you may love some of these sets that Simon Says Stamp is doing dies for. Oh, more love for Anne. She says, I miss Tiffany. She is a sweetheart. Oh, yes, she is. Oh my gosh, Tiffany, shut up. You, have no, you haven't really colored with pencils before that? Girl, you're a natural. You guys, it's so good. <laughs> Please go over and look at it today and give her some love because it is absolutely stunning. Like I would frame it and put it up. It's so, so pretty. Let's see. Oh, yay. Tabitha ended up buying these. So she's excited to see the card. Yay. That makes me happy. So let's start with our stencil today. I am going to use my stamp wheel to hold my card stop down while we're working. Let's move this real quick. And I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch background. And then we have our stencil. So let's just kind of, I try to center it pretty well. And then I like to just stick it down. Oh, yay. <laughs> so many of you already follow Tiffany and love it. I'm so glad. Hi, Donna. All right, so I have, maybe I'll put them here. We can see them better. I have a little speckled egg and chipped sapphire distress oxide inks. Um, you could use regular distress ink as well. I just grabbed kind of whatever. I flip flop back and forth between regular distress and distress oxide. But today we're using oxide and I'm gonna start with speckled egg first. And we're gonna start adding some color through our stencil on our background. Now I am going to kind of just do, I don't know, a random pattern. I don't necessarily want to cover the whole thing with this color. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to go in with some chipped sapphire. I think I put the wrong color now that I see this in the description. I think I put prize ribbon. That would work too. Oops. <laughs> I thought I had prize ribbon, but Chip Sapphire is great, just a darker blue. And we're gonna fill in some of those areas that we left white before. Super fast, I'm not even doing a really hard press or anything like that. Hello, Erica. Hi, Suki Scrap and Fox. Okay, once we have that, that's super pretty, I like it. We are going to clean this really quick. And I just have a little rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. That's generally what I use, especially for this. And I am working on a glass surface. My glass surface is from Glassboard Studio. And I do have a 20% coupon code listed down below. So if you're looking for a good magnetic glass surface, check them out. They come in lots of different sizes for your needs and the code is my name Nicole 20 all right gave that a quick clean we're just gonna set it aside for a minute and now we're gonna switch to the misty all right and we are going to stamp several of these images on our background. Now what I love is not only do you get the beautiful florals, but you also get this grungy text. And you guys know I love grungy text. Hello, Crafty Toad. Dixie got her glass mat yesterday, yay. I love it. It cleans up so fantastic. Oh yes, Tabitha, they are a little bit hefty. I will agree with that. That's so awesome. I'm glad your mom got one. 
Let me clean my stamp real quick. I see I didn't clean it. I'm so guilty of that. When I prepped this class, I just walked away apparently. <laughs> or class, this video, it's not a class. What a ding dong. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of look around and I want my text to hang off the edge. You guys may have seen me use these before. I love them. In fact, I have another video coming up on the Simon Says Stamp channel next week, and I have used a little bit of this and some other things. They're completely different cards, um, but I'm, I love it. So I want to add some text to the background, and we're just going to use that same chipped sapphire. and add some of this grunginess all over our stenciled background. So let's go ahead and clean that so we can use it again here in a little bit. This is going to be our main image for our card as well. Oh, yay, Nikki loves her glass mat and she loves how big it is. I do too. I loved my small one, but I really love how big this one is. I mean, I can just spread my mess out even further. Andrea, my glass mat is the 16 by 22. Now we're going to grab a couple more of these images and I might flip this around a little. Let's see if we can stamp it all at once. I just want a little text to show there and maybe a little here. Or do I want it over in the corner? I might want it over in the corner. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. And we're gonna go ahead. Uh, Tiffany, is your glass mat from Tim the, the black one? I have that one too. I like this one. You can get this one in a lot of different colors, but I love that it's white because then I can see exactly where I've made my mess. I think that's one of the best things about this one, but no, you wouldn't need another one. It's completely personal preference. All right, so now that I have a little text on you're welcome, Andrea. Now that I have my text on the background, we're gonna actually go back with our lattice stencil and our stamp wheel. And we're going to do a grungy grit paste. Question, do you by chance have any idea when the new Olo colors will be coming out? Uh, no. And I don't know that Lori is here watching today. I, and this is, she, I think she maybe even told me and I have forgotten. Or they haven't announced it yet. When I do know, I will let you know, Colleen. Oh, Michelle and Shari love their white glass mat. Yay. So I have lined up my stencil exactly with the inking I did before. I know I've mentioned this many times, but the opaque... Tim Holtz paste is my favorite. In fact, it looks like I need more, doesn't it? I'm going to use a small palette knife, and I'm going to just kind of grunge it around. We're not going to completely cover. We want some of the background to show through. We want the text, all of that good stuff. What is this notification popping up on my screen? That is massively irritating. So sorry, everybody. I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, so I am going to just start kind of spreading it around. And I'm not going to use a stencil pal today because I don't want to spread it everywhere. I more want to add it into little bits and places, adding in just some texture. Yes, it's going to partially cover up some things in the uh, that we stamped and stenciled, but that is what we are wanting. Chris says first live. Yay. Okay. Why 
is that popping up for me? So weird. Sorry, everybody. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to scrape off any excess. And we're going to close this. Now, the great thing about this project today is that it looks super time consuming, but you could do these in like no time, really. And here is our super fun background. You could pick any of your favorite colors to do this. You could do a whole set of backgrounds or just literally have playtime and create a bunch of backgrounds that you could then go in and add all kinds of stuff to later. This is the opaque, Andrea, that I'm using today. I personally, I mean, there's different times that I like the translucent, but this is the opaque. Tiffany, sometimes it will pick up the background color. I did not find that it did on this one. Let me clean up really quick. Um, and I think it depends. It, it depends on the ink. Distressing does tend to pick it up, but I didn't do a very dark um, application, maybe is what I want to say. So let me show you guys so that you really get an idea. This one's completely dry. It was done a day ago. So this one was the one that was done a day ago. It's already completely dry. And this is the one I just did. Does that give you an idea? I don't really think you get to see any of the of the blue. It doesn't really, you can see the white really well. That's what I want to say. Okay, so this one is wet. We're going to just move that aside for a second. Let me dunk my tools in water real fast. That way I can come back and clean it up later. Yes, uh, Bruce Hall says, or it's Becky. <laughs> she says, is the stamp wheel platform sticky so you don't have to use washi? Yes, it sure is. It's sticky and you just want to clean it up. Mine's a little stained, but that means well loved. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Black Nico Home says she, it's cat. She says she's sneaking in while working. Awesome. Um, question, do you have any tips for redesigning your craft room? Um, not today. <laughs> Maybe eventually. Oh, hold on. Apparently, I have paste somewhere. Let me clean up my fingers before I touch anything. All right, we're going to move that out of the way for now. Let's see. Did I miss a question? I'm going to go back. Do you, f oh yeah, Tiffany asked that. I answered it. I just saw that Anne said good question and it is a very good question. And I, you can color this paste as well. So if you like to take your re-inkers and you want to create your own custom color of paste, you totally could. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this wet. Yeah, that's the wet one. Background out of the way. And we're going to stamp our main image. So I just have a big piece of cardstock here. Shari says the stamp wheel mat is basically a giant clear uh, photopolymer stamp. Yes, that's a good way of saying it. Thank you. Yes, and Anne, I completely agree. She says she sometimes finds when using certain paste with certain inks, if you go over it too many times, you start to pick up that color. Yes, you do. Yeah, um, Kat says the texture paste are super fun. She loves using them and she notices that they do get tinted if the ink is not super dry. That's, thank you. That was a much better way to say it. Thank you, thank you. Um, so 
I don't have tips on paper storage really for 12 by 12. I am going to do a video this yet this month with my craft room finally and I'll share. I don't I only have a small amount of 12 by 12 and it's in a drawer. I don't have most of my paper anymore. I have just a little bit. I have lots of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, but not much 12 by 12. So we're gonna go back with our chipped sapphire in this botanic collage flower, and I'm gonna ink it up with this dark color. Now, the great thing about these dies is it's not going to die cut all of the text. I'm gonna stamp that again. Let's see. Oh, this is a great question. That cat loves this stamp set. I do too. Laura says, um, happy Friday. Question, I need to switch the screen. About blending brushes, do you use regular distress inks or do you use your dye ink brushes for distress oxides? I use a completely different brush for oxide. Um, these are the waffle flower, it does not matter. But for me, I always know that my waffle flower brushes are my oxide brushes. Um, that way I don't accidentally grab it when I am inking with distress oxides. So yeah, you wanna keep those separate or you'd have to clean them. I don't wanna clean them. So I just have a set for dye inks and then I have a set for my oxides. Um, and Rhonda says that she has heard that the Olos are shipping by the end of April with delivery to the U or to us first or second week of May. That sounds right. I really cannot remember. <laughs> I will say as far as the questions about craft room, I have downsized a lot of things. My room houses more than just paper crafting. So some out of season things or things I don't use often aren't in here. I also purge a lot. <laughs> and I know not everyone does that. that. That's just something I do. Oh, Andrea says that her Tim Holtz uh, dried quickly. Mine has never dried quickly, so I don't know. I've had a lot of my paste dry out, but I've never had trouble with these, so I don't know. Distress Oxide has pigment in it. That is the biggest difference, and um, you can use it like over darker card stocks, and it will show up. That's pretty, the simple, the simple version. So here is an example of the stamps for the Botanic Collage. It's going to stamp, or stamp, it's going to die cut the floral image instead of all that text. So it's awesome for layering. Same with any of these, that's upside down. So it's only gonna cut the flower for this one or the butterflies from these two, which is really awesome if you wanna create some popped up effects and things like that. Laura says her purge is painful. My best suggestion if you are purging a bunch of stuff is have a box right handy or two and only work on one thing at a time. Don't pull everything out. I usually go to like shelf by shelf. And I see lots of great suggestions for 12 by 12 storage also in that chat. So here's what it looks like die cut. Super pretty. Isn't that going to be beautiful? And we have only used these two colors of ink. Oh, I'm so glad you love it, Liz. Yes, this is probably my favorite one. <laughs> Becky says it, a major purge is painful, like parting with old friends. I think some people like purging and some people don't. I personally love to purge. <laughs> and I'm brutal. I'm very brutal with it. Linda, I think Andrea said she put press and seal on hers and she still had trouble. 
Sharon, gl the glass mat is from Glassboard Studio, and there is a link down in the description. I do try to put lives, lives, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't talk, put links down in the description of my video for things that I talk about, so um, you can check there, and it will also tell you what the code is to save. So I wanted to soften this just a little bit for another layer to the design. So what we have, where did it go? Oh, right here. We are going to use these lush leaves from Simon Says Stamp. These are awesome. It die cuts both of these at once. Phoebe, uh, not Lawn Fawn. Franklin, no. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi to everybody? Or just be annoying? <laughs> so it's going to, it's one die and it die cuts these two separate leaves which are beautiful and I've cut them from some vellum as you can see here and we're going to layer them with our floral and I think that will be super pretty. So let's go ahead and do that before we add any greeting. Let's start attaching. Kat says she's learned to be more brutal with her purges. And I do want to encourage you guys do what feels good to you as far as that. What I do isn't what everybody else is going to want to do as far as purging supplies. Um, this is my job. And so there is just, I, I wouldn't have anywhere to live <laughs> if I had um, all of it. So uh, a lot of times I'm pretty brutal with that, but there are things I don't purge. So the question about do you purge lawn fawn? No. Um, I have purged some mama elephant. If things get retired though, I do purge um, those. So most of it, there's some things, you know, those things that you just like are super personally connected to for whatever reason. I have a few of those. <laughs> Becky says she loves the vellum on the card. Yes. Vellum is so good, isn't it? You guys Ugh, always so good. Okay. I forgot to fill my glue. I'm sure no one is surprised about this. I think it every day at the end of the day, and I still haven't filled it. What is wrong with me? I just walk away, I guess. That is so funny. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue back here. And I want them to kind of overlap. Let's see how we want to do this. This is always the trickiest part. So silly figuring out how we want to attach it. Oh, I like that. Okay. And I am going to glue this directly to my card today. No foam for this. Rachel, that is awesome. She said she goes through phases. I think I do too. Um, sometimes I want it all gone and then I need to keep everything until the next time for sure. Oh, Liz, Mama Elephant does have some of the best baby stuff. I will say that. I do, or I love, I probably love the baby cards I've made with Mama Elephant the most. It's funny. There's always, like, I like certain things from certain companies. And then this littler little leaf, I am going to layer on top like so. Did I bring an acrylic block? Probably not. And I'm just going to do that for a second. Oh, Susie says she's been here since the beginning, but she was watching on the big screen. Oh, Kat says that she has an older stamp set from Crafter's Companion. And it's like 17 years old and she could never part from it. Okay, you guys. In the chat, if you have a stamp set like that or any product, any die or whatever, that you cannot part with. Let me know what it is. This is going to be fun. I want to know what everybody, like, what is that one thing that you, you're like, you purge and you're like, maybe this is the time and then you just pull it back. You have to keep it. Let me know. <laughs> I want to know what it is. Okay. So we're going to let that sit for a minute. 
I want to use the foundry wax to cre create spatter on my background before we add our greetings. So let me grab my little box. I love the foundry wax and I think that this sterling color is going to be beautiful on this blue. We'll just put it like that for a minute. So I like to shake it up. Enjoy, don't hoard, Karen says. That's good. <laughs> oh, just got that background. Yay. Okay. I always make sure it's really well shook up. And the thing about foundry wax, you can spatter it over your project. What's going to be different about this than maybe a paint that you let dry, you do need to heat this up. Otherwise, when it dries, it's just like chalk and it will wipe away. It may leave a smear but it's just gonna wipe away. So you wanna heat this up after you have kind of used your paintbrush to make some spatter. <laughs> you guys, Shari just texted me, told me to go fill my glue. <laughs> I'm bad, she always has to help me. So I just use a small paintbrush and we're going to go in and add this. Now there are foundry wax, colors. I use gold a lot. There's like a copper color. They're so pretty. I wanted a couple bigger droplets. Where are those at? Do you think? There we go. I'm being pretty generous with it. Okay. So it doesn't look all that impressive right now, but when we heat it, we're gonna get shiny silver droplets everywhere. Can you see those? And it's gonna be so good. Let me see if I, oh yeah, see the little sparkles? I just love it. It's very subtle, but I especially love it on those vellum leaves. Look at that. It's the little things in life. <laughs> I've decided. <laughs> Jenna, okay, Jenna has a good point. I was telling you I don't have much paper anymore and I don't have much 12 by 12 paper. I have 12 by 12 lawn fawn paper and I have tons of six by six doodle bug paper. So yes. <laughs> oh, you guys, I love it. Tiffany can't let her reverse confetti stash go. Pa Laura says some, the OG paper tray ink. Oh my gosh. Uh, Dixie Cochran, Studio Calico, Noah Alphabet. Oh, there are some of those. Yes. I let them go several years ago and I've I've had a little bit of regret. I don't have regret too often. Stampin' Up, Lovely Tree, Barbara says. Basic gray scrapbook paper from the early 2000s. Six by six paper packs, Carrie said. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so fun. Okay, so it is a very subtle shimmer. But the other great thing is that because you heat set it, you don't really have to worry about it wiping off. Look how pretty and elegant that is. I could see this done in like some purples, oops, teals, all of your favorite colors. <laughs> Jen, I will keep doodle bug paper till the teeniest, tiniest scrap too. Okay. This is literally going to be my fastest live ever, you guys. I don't even, didn't even plan for it to be that way. This card seems like it's super time consuming, but it's not. Although, I do need to die cut this a couple more times. I remember now. However, let's just see. I know I get asked this a lot about how long it takes the paste to dry. This is the one we just did. It's pretty well dry. We're going to go ahead and glue everything down. We might as well do them both at the same time, right? I know I have another vellum leaf around here somewhere. There it is. Let's just go ahead and put it together. 
And that way I can do another um, background with the foundry wax. I have to go through and read everybody's things they can't get rid of later. <laughs> Liz also has the lovely tree, Barbara. Oh, that's so fun. So a lot of times, this is something I have really been trying to be intentional about this year. I know somebody was talking about being more intentional with purchases earlier in the chat. Something else I've tried to do is make the most of my crafty time, my card making time, and make more than one. Even if I'm not making it exactly the same, like this obviously is exactly the same, but even if you're not, go ahead and... Um, you know, maybe make a bunch of backgrounds that you can come to later or whatever. You never will be sorry to have extra cards. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. These blues are so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Ne Crafts and Designs by Nima. Thank you, Laura. Love snowmen. Okay, let's see. What did Andrea say? Cannot get rid of any snowmen or snowflakes. I'm a sucker for those in all crafting. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry just a second and then we'll add our foundry wax, but I am gonna use this new Hugs Sentiment. I didn't even cut mine apart. That's my lazy laziness. And we're going to die cut a couple of extra greetings. I think it needs a little dimension. I did die cut the hugs from some matte silver cardstock. Ooh, Jen, I love that. Jen says this would make a really nice notebook cover. Yes. Or you could even, if you um, made your background the size that fit a frame, this could be framed art. I love that. Jen, thank you for that. Tiffany loves snowmen and snowflakes too. Tiffany, see, I knew you were my person. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker. And I always think I need more. I probably could make snowman and snowflake cards only for the next five years. That's crazy. Okay, I think about three layers is gonna be good. Let me poke out. <laughs> Anne is all about the snowflakes. Okay, we have a club, apparently. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna glue these together. And I'm gonna do this for both of my cards. What I thought, you can switch up the greeting to be whatever you need it to be. I thought I might do birthday hugs for these, but it really could just be a thinking of you. You could switch out any sentiment. Maybe you need a sympathy card, a wedding card, friendship, snowmen and butterflies. Oh my gosh, I have to go back. What? Tiffany used to track her crafty purchases when she first started and stopped because she doesn't need that negativity in your life. I like the way you think. Don't keep track unless you need it for a tax write-off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it is so, it's not good. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tiffany. Thank you. That's funny. Now you could you you could cut this die apart because obviously it's the script and the shadow. I tend to not love the shadow probably 90% of the time. I don't know why. I think it covers up. Yes, I do know why. I find it usually covers up too much of what I have going on in my card. And so I like to kind of keep it more dainty, maybe more dainty. So let's see, we're gonna do right about there, I think. And it's very subtle. I wanted everything to be kind of subtle here today. All right, let's go ahead 
and add the spatter to this one, shall we? <laughs> yeah, Anne says she always tells herself she need, doesn't need more snowflakes and then she caves. Same. So we're just going to do the same thing to this one. It does tend to dry pretty quick. Like even in my plastic box, what I put in here earlier is already dry. So it's going to dry fast, but you do want to heat it or you'll be sad later. It will wipe right off. Oh, thank you, Anne. See if you can see the little shimmer and shine start to pop. I don't know why, but I love the magic of that. Pretty. I love it. Now I know I have another die cut silver hello somewhere. I don't, this isn't even very much stuff. How can everything go missing? Oh, there it is. So we just need a couple more white ones. Oh, Shari, that's funny. Shari listens more than she watches because she's working at the same time as well. I know there's several of you doing that too. And she said she literally said dainty at the same time I did. I have it, Tiffany. That would be fun. Have you been a guest? Have I missed it? see. Susie likes heat embossing powder. It's magic. I agree. There are several things that are just like magic when we create, aren't there? And I don't know that I'll, heat embossing now seems so basic, but I don't know that I'll ever tire of it. It is magical. Okay, you gotta love your, your cross-stitchy friends who are texting the entire time you're live because they don't realize I'm live for paper. That's completely random and irrelevant to anything. It just is kind of funny. Okay. Oh, isn't this, I like the size of this greeting. That's another little random thing. Oh, Tiffany, you could. Did we do, when you were here um, at the craft house, did we do blindfold stamping? We did, didn't we? It's just, I mean, if you could do that, <laughs> you could do anything. It would be fun. <laughs> no, you're too scared. No, you'd be great. Oh, I got a little, oh, I'm a mess. I'm inky, gluey, that, what, what is that called? It's the sign of a good crafting session, right? When you're a disaster. All right. Okay, so I did pull out the happy combos. And I thought I might use the script, but I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to. I often, if I have a script style die cut, then I like a non-script phrase or rest of the greeting. If this hugs had been a different greeting, 
I would probably have used the script. Like, I like how the happy works with these. We're gonna have it say birthday hug, so I think I'm gonna use that one. And we'll die cut it with our sentiment label die for this. Oh, thank you, Becky. I am glad that I can keep you company after a grocery run. You definitely deserve something fun after that chore is finished. Now you could get your Misty out or you can just use an acrylic block. That's what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I just don't wanna be, oops, that's not very good. This is why you use a Misty, then you don't have a bunch of mistakes. Sometimes I can't be bothered though to get the Misty out. Anybody else that way? That's ridiculous, probably. I Yes, Tiffany, I thought we did. It was fun. Oh, we need to get together and do that again. So much fun. I think that that should be something that you have to do at all crafting it togethers. <laughs> oh. I wonder why, I wonder what I bumped. So sorry everybody for that little flash. You're just seeing it now I think on the delay. <laughs> That's crazy. So I'm using the sentiment label dies from Simon. Any little, you know, long sentiment strip die really that fits the greeting is gonna work. And I am gonna pop these up with foam. Let's get them die cut first though. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think I bumped my power cord. Sorry for the flashes. That's not fun. But it's on a delay, so you guys are seeing it after me. Does anyone else create multiple cards when you're when you're creating a design, do you prefer to do multiples one at a time? Tiffany, do you have a YouTube channel? Not that I know of, and if if you do and I don't know, I need to know about that. Um, Bonnie is asking when your fingers are colored. <laughs> Tiffany, I think you should start one. I think you would be amazing. Oh, yay, Marie is catching alive after so long. I'm so glad I haven't seen your name here in a while. I'm glad to see you today. All right, let me grab some foam. We are going to pop up our strips, a lot of multiples, one at a time, a lot of multiples. I used to be an only one at a time kind of girl. Like I did not like to do multiples, but any more, I like to do many. Yeah, Tiffany, I agree. She says it depends on what it is. Becky always does multiples. Anne says butterflies are her other weakness. You know, I like them too. I do too. For some reason, always need more. Birthday hugs. To me, this just looks like kind of an art piece. <laughs> If you didn't add, I love, I think, was it Jen, was it you who said earlier, this could be a notebook cover? I think I would almost like to make this in a five by seven to fit in a frame for like my bedroom. My bedroom is in these colors and I think that would be really pretty. Okay, we need some, something to dress it up. Yeah, this is not the right color. These may not be the right color. Hmm. 
Hold please while I make a last minute change. Of course. I thought about using Surf or Royal Dazzling Gems, but I don't think either of these colors are perfect, but these are. I think we're going to go with these silvery ones. What is this color called? Clear. Yeah, clear for sure. All right, let's get, grab my embellishment wand too. My neighbor dog Carter is outside barking real loud, so sorry about that if you can hear him. He's always barking really loud. Love it so much if you can't tell. Oh yeah, a little more sparkle. We always need a little more sparkle. Thank you, Lori. Oh, yay, Tiffany. I cannot wait to see what you make. Who else is going to try something similar? Now, you don't need these exact products at all. Um, I would. You can grab your favorite stencil, inks, paste, and go to town. So many different ways to achieve this. If you have any kind of text background stamp, you can also just stamp portions of a bigger image to create something similar or even an all over. You're gonna cover up parts of it anyway with your paste. So definitely have fun with it. If you guys do, will you tag me so that I can repost your work? I keep meaning to ask you guys to do that. I would love to see when, if you do something like this, in case I miss it. <sighs> oh, Susie, no, it's a different neighbor. I actually like Carter's parents. <laughs> so I don't, li I don't like the neighbor who mows every time I have a live. Yeah, I know. And that's, it's not because he's mowing either. It's because he's unpleasant. And that's not a way to live. Being that unpleasant, not a way to live. Right? Life's hard enough. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> There's my deep thoughts for the weekend, everybody. <laughs> oh, Carter. Your mommy and daddy are, need to let you back in the house. He is a yellow lab. And he's sweet. They actually have another dog. I don't know what breed the other one is. The other one is not sweet. The other one actually jumped. We have a privacy fence between our yards. And I was out of town last summer. And that dog jumped the fence. We don't even know how. Crazy. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Well, that is a lot of glare today. Let me see if I can cover up the glare. <sighs> Let's see. Th there, that will be the next card sentiment made. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm so glad you guys love it. Well, I can't believe it. I know I had one background done off camera and a few things stamped and die cut, but I think this would be a very doable project. You could get at least two cards done in an hour and a half. You've got to love that. Um, and they're beautiful. It turned out even better than I hoped, if possible. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Did I miss anybody's questions while I was uh, putting the finishing touches on those cards? Tiffany, done. <laughs> Tiffany and I are birthday buddies. Same month. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to scroll. Let, oh, let's see. Andrea, how do I see all the supplies and glass mat, mat wall in chat? Um, it's, it should, you should be able to hit the description box. I know when I am monitoring, like looking at another live, I can go over to and hit 
what is it, more info or details, and it should bring up the description box. Or if you have another window open, if you're on a laptop or desktop, you should be able to go over and check that out. I hope that helps. Oh, expand the description, Tabitha said. I knew, Tabitha. Thank you for coming through with the better description. Let's see. Let me see if I missed anything else. Chrislyn, back after shoulder surgery. I'm happy you're back. I hope you're all healed up. Oh, enjoying the goodness and laughter. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Heidi does custom Christmas cards for each and every one. That is amazing. Shari says, can't hear the barking. I'm glad because I can and it's distracting to me, but I'm glad you guys can't. Okay, everybody, I think that's it for this week. I, again, really can't believe I was able to get both of these done in an hour. I thought it was going to be a much longer process. Um... I hope that you are inspired. Tag me if you make something similar. I would love to see what you guys create. And next week, there will be a new Simon Says Stamp release. So next Friday's live will feature some great new products from that. Um, if you're taking the Hero Arts, if you're in the Stamp Along tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow morning or afternoon, depending on where you're at. I hope everyone has had a wonderful uh, week. I hope you have a fantastic crafty weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.